Going no contact is all about cutting ties so that the narcissist cannot contact you or even see you. No contact is highly recommended when trying to escape a narcissist's grasp or break free from their spell. And even if you cannot go permanently no contact, a temporary no contact can also be very beneficial. Having that time out from a toxic situation or person can only be good for you. So when you decide to go no contact, you have to ensure that you have blocked them on all your devices and from all your social media profiles so that they cannot message you, call you, or even see what you are up to. It also means if they show up at your door, you do not answer, or if they manage to send you a message, you do not respond. And sometimes you may also need to physically move locations or avoid places that the narcissist usually frequents. But going no contact is not just about a physical separation. A lot of mental work has to be done as well to break any emotional ties that may still exist. So today I want to talk about why no contact works or seven reasons why you should go no contact from a narcissist. And it should not matter who the narcissist is, whether it is an ex a family member, co-worker, friend, etc. Getting these toxic people out of your life is for the best. If it is an ex-partner where children are involved, of course, no contact is not possible, but you can still starve the narcissist and reduce their access to you. I did this video to help with such situations. There will be a link here on the screen and in the description box below. But now let us look at the seven reasons why if you can go no contact, you should go no contact. And the first one is that it puts an end to the cycle of abuse. Physically removing yourself from a narcissist instantly puts an end to their manipulations and abuse. No longer can they blame you, guilt trip you, or even love bomb you into giving them another chance. No more on and off with the relationship or walking on eggshells. The emotional roller coaster has finally stopped and now you can regain composure and quietly assess what the hell happened. The second reason why you should go no contact is that it allows you to grieve. Finally, putting an end to a relationship, no matter how toxic it was, can still sometimes be sad. Whether you mourn the loss of what never really was or the time that you will never get back, it is all still very sad. And having the time and space to grieve your losses without the narcissist around can be a big step in moving forward. The third reason you should go no contact is to prevent self-sabotage. Keeping communication lines fully open with a narcissist at the end of a relationship will hinder your progress because the narcissist does not want you to move on. They do not want you to succeed without them or even come to the realization that you do not need them. You also remain a target for their manipulations or if you are the one stalking their social media pages, you will only feel disappointed and resentful because the narcissist will be hoping that you are checking out their profiles and everything they post will be strategic. That is why no contact is also about you not reaching out to the narcissist or stalking them on social media. You have to make up your mind to block them out and act as though they do not exist. No contact gives you that choice and control so that you can move forward. The fourth reason why you should go no contact is that it gives you an opportunity to detox. After dealing with a narcissist, you need to detox mentally, 
physically and spiritually. The lies and criticisms of the narcissist need to be flushed from your mind. Talking to a close friend or a therapist can help to get a lot of things out of your system. There is a lot of junk that we take out of a narcissistic relationship. There is a lot of hurt and betrayal that needs to be unpacked. That is why having the time, space, and a listening ear is so important. If you were intimate with a narcissist, cleansing yourself from their smell and touch is a must, and also any physical items that they may have given you should be packed away or given away. When it comes to the spiritual aspect, narcissists have a dark negative energy that is designed to weigh you down. So even after physically removing yourself from the narcissist, you can still be carrying some of that negativity. So you have to recognize that it does not belong to you. This is not who you are. And it can be done through prayer, devotion, meditation, doing things that you love and being around people who love you. But the detox stage is very important and can only be done when you go no contact from the narcissist. The fifth reason why you should go no contact from a narcissist is that you are able to think clearly. Narcissists aim to confuse us and have us doubt our own mental capabilities. So going no contact and doing that detox allows you to gain a new perspective and clarity that you could never have while actively dealing with a narcissist. Decisions you could not make before, you will be able to do now. Things that seemed so confusing or difficult will get clearer with each passing day. You will also see the narcissist for who or what they truly are and how they played you or manipulated you. This knowledge and acceptance is important because it will assist in your healing and empowerment, which is another big reason to go no contact. Being able to heal from narcissistic abuse takes time, but you also need a healthy environment to do it in. And that is why being away from the narcissist or having very limited contact with them is crucial. You are finally understanding what happened, and how such people should be dealt with. You are finding yourself again. You are learning to love yourself again. Going no contact is a time to equip yourself with the tools you need to protect yourself from any future narcissists or toxic individuals. The seventh reason why you should go no contact is to prove to yourself and the narcissist that you can live without them. Once upon a time, you may have become emotionally or financially dependent on the narcissist, or the narcissist may have told you directly that you are nothing or will have nothing without them. So going no contact can be tough to start with, but everything you need is inside you to start again and flourish without the narcissist. You are stronger and deserve more than the narcissist can ever give you. And sometimes just going no contact makes it clear that you did not need them as much as you thought. But to conclude, there are many good reasons to go no contact, even though to some it may seem harsh or a bit drastic, no contact is sometimes the only way to survive and thrive after narcissistic abuse. And it is of paramount importance to give yourself time to work through some of those feelings and see things clearly. Narcissists hate no contact, but it is necessary for you to do it if you want to heal and regain control of your life. Okay, that is it for today. If there are any other reasons I may have missed, please don't hesitate to share in the comment section below. And for those of you who made it this far, I hope you found it useful. Have a blessed week and many thanks for listening. Mm -hmm.